into the western foothills is going to see them a bit stronger, but by tomorrow evening, we should see those winds calm down. We'll have the full forecast details for you in just a little bit. After the sudden death of Park City sophomore and football player Jed Hoffman, students, staff and parents at the Columbus schools are coming together to show their support. The bell rang just like it always does on Thursday morning, but for students at Columbus High School, this day was anything but usual. Oh, it's devastating. It's tragic. Instead of the traditional cougar green and white, students on this day wore red and black, Park City Panthers colors, in honor of Park City sophomore Jed Hoffman, who collapsed on the football field and died after a week in intensive care. We did some open gyms together when we were younger, and you can just kind of see that he had, he had a lot of potential ahead of him. Caden Daniels knew Jed personally, but this was a district-wide show of support. Students from 12th grade all the way down to kindergarten decked out in red to support Jed's family. This morning, they were super excited to wear panther colors and um, wear a hat and bring money to support his family. With having, I don't know, a child around his age, I just felt like as a community, we should do something and everyone jumped on board and this happened. The compassion was tangible at Columbus High School. Students knowing it happened to someone their age just miles away. My brother and cousin played with him, so I kind of knew him when I was little, but you know, it's just, sad to think about. Whenever you lose a young person, it's, it's so tragic because as the boys earlier mentioned, you know, there's a lot of potential there and to see that snuffed out is just breaks your heart. And Hoffman's death really hit home for students on the football team. Many of them played Jed on the field. Both teams are kind of still in the playoffs, so a lot of us are kind of talking about playing this game for Jed and stuff like that so we can just kind of play as a team and have something to play for. A tight-knit community doing their best to share love and kindness to a school that's normally an opponent, but on this day, they're on the same team. It fills up your heart to see everyone come together as one and uh, you know, kind of just support each other. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN 